Say to Mary and let her know she's giving birth to the God Son. Right, yes, of course. Listen, Gabriel, just a word of advice if you don't mind. Please, please try not to panic her, will you? You know, we both know humans can be very jumpy when they see angels. Michael, 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 Michael. You don't need to worry about that. People may jump when they see you because you're Michael with the Mr. Grumpy face. Excuse me, Gabriel! Listen, Michael, I don't need to worry about that because I am lovable. So if you don't mind, I'm off. I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs> Greetings! Okay. No, no, don't panic. I come with good news. You are gonna give birth to God's son and you're calling him Jesus. What? How is this possible? With God, anything is possible. I am God's servant and if this is what he wants, let it happen. Excellent, bye. What's that? Oh no, yes of course, don't worry. I'll let him know all about Joseph. Don't worry about a thing. What about Joseph? <laughs> Gabriel! Don't sneak up on me like that. No wonder Mary was terrified, screaming all over the place. Oh, you didn't get me afraid the way you turn around like that. But, but anyway, what about Joseph? What about Joseph? Yes. Well, ever since Mary became pregnant, there's been rumours all over town. Apparently, Joseph is now saying he's not going to marry Mary. And we, we just can't have that, Gabriel. We really can't. So God wants you to go to Joseph in a dream and tell him to marry Mary. Right, so I've got to go and tell him to marry Mary. No, wait. Marry Mary. <sighs> Hello, Joseph. Oh, oh, don't wake up. Stay asleep. Oh, that's right. <sighs> so, Mary's going to have a baby, but you're not to worry, all right? You're going to marry Mary. Whew, I'm glad I got that right. And she's going to have a baby, you're going to call him Jesus, and this, this is the exciting bit. He will save the people from their sins. Have you got that, Joseph? All right, bye. Oh, I just had the strangest dream. I need to go and find Mary. Well, Michael, I thought that just went very well. No screaming at all. Yes, Gabriel, well, it, uh, it did help. He was asleep, didn't it? Yes, that, that does always help, but... Uh, what do we do now? Well, Gabriel, I suppose all we can do is wait. Right, okay. Michael, I'm bored. We've been waiting here for ages. Gabriel, would you be quiet, please? Look, look, they're on the move, on their way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Why are they going to Bethlehem again, Michael? Because there is a census, Gabriel. The government want everyone to return to the town of their family. And Joseph's family, well, they're from Bethlehem. Ah, although look at poor Joseph, they're having to travel a long old way, aren't they? And poor Mary. Imagine having to walk all that way pregnant. And even the donkey's tired. Mm. Ah, uh, look, look, look. They finally arrived in Bethlehem. Now, if only they could find somewhere to stay. Oh, don't worry, Michael. I'm sure that won't be a problem at all. I hope not. Mary, no, we... Sorry, no room. This is terrible. I need to sit down. I'm sorry, dear. Michael, this isn't looking good. Don't worry, Gabriel. I'm sure God has a plan. Look. Well, actually, I might have something for you. Follow me. Oh, thank goodness. I was getting worried. Well, I did tell you not to worry, didn't I? Although I, uh, I can't quite see what room he's going to put him into. Wait a second. Is he, is he put him in a, in a stable? A st he has! Oh, look, it's a donkey! For goodness, a donkey! Chickens! And is that a cow I see in 
step back. Oh dear, Gabriel, this will never do. Surrounded by dirt and animals. Remarkable. It really is. It's quite something. Although, look at Joseph. He looks like he's had a bit of a shock. <laughs> quite. Well, there you go, Gabriel. That really was wonderful. Although we can't hang around. Lots of work mm. to do. We have to deliver a message to the shepherds. So hurry along, Gabriel. Let's go. Yes. Please, please don't ha! panic. Michael, scaring some shepherds and their flock. Per show. Oh, Gabriel, be quiet, okay? Glory to God in the highest. I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a saviour who is the Messiah, the Lord. And you shall know him when you find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. You got that? Yep, got it. In Bethlehem. Wrapped in cloth. And lying in a manger. Wonderful. And to celebrate, myself and some of my angel friends shall sing for you. through the sky? Yes, and look, it appears the wise men are following it. Yes, I wonder how many wise men there are. Let me just do a quick count, okay? Uh, one, two, three! I heard they went to Jerusalem first by mistake and met angry King Herod. <coughs> mm. But luckily they found their way to Bethlehem with their gift. That's a relief. I bring you gold for a fit for a king. Very. I bring you bring you some frankincense. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. And you? And I bring you my flowers and my stew. Thank you. Michael, those gifts are very nice, aren't they? Mm. Although, I would have said no to a bit of chocolate. Gabriel! Sorry. <laughs> Poor Joseph. He still looks a bit shocked by it all. <laughs> Quite. And it's just, it's strange to think, Michael, isn't it, that those innkeepers and the people that live in Bethlehem, well, they don't realise that something incredible has just happened. Well, yes, Gabriel, of course. However, think about it. A young girl, the carpenter, a bunch of animals, some smelly shepherds, and three wise guys from the east. They all know that something amazing has just taken place. <sighs> I don't know about you, Michael, but I can't wait to see what Jesus does next. <laughs> Gabriel, yes, me neither. But in the meantime, we've work to do. So come along, Gabriel, yes. hurry up. Okay, right behind you. <laughs> 